Hey, what's up everybody? Thanks for tuning back into the channel. Appreciate it. So before we get started though, if you could go hit that subscribe button, that'd be pretty awesome. So today, what we're going to do is see if we can make this guy sound a little better. It's the Bang Olsen system that comes stock in the Fords now. And for me, the bass is lacking a little bit. The highs and mids front sound good. No big deal. But the bass is lacking. So I want to go the cheapest route I think possible. So yeah, we're going to see if we can make this guy sound a little better. Um, for that also, if you're wondering how this seat folds forward, I installed that guy from Built Red Industries. That'd be my last video if you want to go check that out and see how that's installed. So yeah, but right now we're going to show you guys how to take this box out. So you have a 13 millimeter here, a 13 millimeter right there, and a 13 millimeter right there. And then what you're going to do is you're going to squeeze these two tabs and this connector will pop out that way and then get you a pair of pliers. Pull out this little uh, plug deal that's inside the box on the side and then you can take the whole box out and I'll show you what we're going to do next. So let's take it out. All right guys, so once you got those three loose and all the way out, you got the harness pulled. Now you just take it, pull it forward, up and out. See, it's got these little feet that just slide off of that there and that there. So now we can start modifying the box. Also, we're going to be installing some deadener down here and deadener and probably a sheet back here. So let's do it. All right, so to take this guy out, you're gonna need a T20 Torx, and there's four of these. And then I think that's just a little ring part. And under that, I just pry the speaker with a uh, flathead and pop it out. All right, guys. So, pull this little grill off. Got the speaker popped out. And they run it a positive and negative on each side. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these connectors off rather than cut these off i'm gonna see if i can get down in here and just de-pin it take the pins out and the pins will plug into the new sub a little bit easier into the terminals so next we're going to either sound deaden or polyfill the box so let's check that out Alrighty guys, stayed up late last night, worked on the box as you can see, yeah, it turned out pretty good. So, got these wires prepped, got them depend from the little connectors, not too hard. So these little pins should fit in the terminals on the sub box, get these out of the way. So yeah, check this out, so yeah, we got the whole box with the depifier from Second Skin, and then what we did, Took polyfill and I put it all the way back in here, crammed as much in there as I could, all the voids. And I also took and sealed this port. So I took polyfill, put it all the way through. I'm hoping I got enough in here. Um, obviously can't get all the way back in there, so hope I did. But either way, got it all covered with the second skin. Sounds pretty good. So yeah, covered this port. Um, so now we're about to load the sub in here and uh see what she sounds like let me show you guys where's this box though so that's what she looks like back. try to cover the whole thing pretty decent so yeah we're gonna plug this uh sub in and then throw it in the truck see what it sounds like right on so we got the sub all mounted Looks pretty good. Got the box all mounted back in there. Got the plug back in. <laughs> it looks good, guys. I like it. Hopefully, it sounds a little better. So, we're going to play it here in a minute and uh, check it out. All right, guys. So, I was supposed to play you something. Um, it's been about a week. So, I want to come on here and actually finish this video. So, since then, I've listened to it a little bit and found out that with the polyfill in it and the port blocked 
I absolutely hated it. Um, didn't like it. Completely changed the output that I was looking for. So I took the polyfill back out and just cut the uh, sound ender right there and opened the port back up and got back the sound I was looking for. Um, so there's that. And I'd play you guys something on it, but honestly, I mean, there's not a ton of difference. I mean, you're, you're, you're not going to really be able to tell on camera, if any, because you still have the factory roll off from the amp. But, I mean, it sounds a smidge better. I mean, that sub's going to sound a little better to me, I don't know, than the B&O one. It's got less sensitivity, obviously, but... Um, I can tell you for a fact, though, I'm already pricing out the Kicker Key 500.1, which kind of looking back here, which I'm probably thinking it'll fit maybe right here. Um, but yeah, I already want a little bit more than what that amp provides. And I think the Kicker 500.1 uh, key amp is perfect. Um, I found a harness from Plug and Play Kits that will intercept here and tee off and... Uh, plug right into the key amp and then you don't need any RCAs because it feeds off of this signal for your high input on that amp and then obviously just run your power and ground 8 gauge and then run new speaker leads to this sub. So I'm already aiming at that just to get a little bit more probably feed this sub about 300 watts which is exactly what it asks for so should sound a little better. Um, not nothing crazy. I could still, I'll still have the factory bass roll off, but I don't listen to the uh, volume that loud. So, yeah, already looking at that. But um, for now, I guess I mean it's it's a little better. It was an upgrade. I mean the box obviously sounds a little better. It doesn't sound plasticky, I guess <laughs> if uh, that's what you want to call it. But you know, a uh, little backstory though. I'm used to uh, crazy setups. I had a uh, 90, uh, 1995 GMC Sierra extended cab and I had a, a, a 15 inch FIBTL the old uh, UFO style magnet subs I had that in about probably 5 cubic foot box big old huge port on it that thing was that thing was stupid loud you know so I'm used to stuff like that so this is this is obviously a little different for me but uh other than that, you know, I'm kind of more into clean setups now, not nothing crazy. So, um, yeah, other than that, say we're, I think we're going to go with that Kicker Key 500 amp and uh, give this guy a little bit more juice and uh, go from there. So, other than that, if you guys are doing this mod, just remember, this is a dual 4 ohm sub. These four wires plug directly into this. No bridging it, no nothing. Just positive, negative, positive, negative. Plugs right in. Pretty straightforward. So, other than that, as always, thank you guys for watching and supporting the channel. And uh, let me know in the comments uh, what system you have or what your uh, favorite setup was in any car, truck, whatever. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching another one, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.